So it's springtime, which means that the bees have eaten through almost all of their honey from the winter. So we're trying to get creative here and feed back some of the honey that we had pulled from another hive last year. But the thing is, these frames, you see how tall they are? These are deep frames, and they're too big to fit into the hives that we have now, which are using medium boxes. So I was gonna cut this honey out of here, but as you might be able to tell, it's on a plastic foundation, which is how we bought the nukes. So what I've done is I've cut out around where the honey was, and then I'm gonna scrape it out, put it into the bottom of a gallon water bottle that I had on hand, then I'm gonna put this into the hive so that the bees can clean out the honey and the bee bread that's in there and the pollen and everything else. And then that way, these frames don't go to waste. We don't have to feed them sugar and they can immediately use the honey um, because they don't have to process it. So hopefully this is gonna work and get them through another week or two. I have um, three of these that I've cut and then I have one mason jar that I'm gonna lay down sideways for the bees in the other hive. Um, and yeah, we'll just see what they can do and then we can uh, reuse what we've got. I've got a whole bunch of frames sitting here that I'm gonna cut up and do this too. So hopefully that'll keep the bees happy for a while. So this is another chunk I just cut out of a different frame. And you see all the orange stuff that's in there? So this is pollen that the bees have taken and have created bee bread out of. And they'll use this as food to feed the babies. Um, as they're growing um, in their larva stage and such. And so I'm gonna put this in with the honey as well that I'm scraping out of the frames. And the bees are gonna go crazy for this. They love this stuff. So they can take it and repurpose it and not have to make new stuff. And the best part of doing this is that look, as I scrape this off, look at the honey <laughs> that comes out of these frames. And oh my, is it delicious? Mm. Oh, they're gonna love this. So generally in this situation, what you would do is you would cut an entire section of honey out of the frame, like in a square, and then you would take it and put it into the smaller frame that fits into your hive. And you can see how much smaller this frame is than the one behind it. So one is a medium and one is a, a, a deep. The big one is the deep. But I couldn't do that with these other frames because they're all on plastic and you can't cut through that. And quite honestly, my bees don't like plastic, so um, I don't wanna put it back in the hive. So since we have one here, this is not on plastic, this is just foundation. We are going to cut it. I don't know that I can do this one-handed. And I'll show you kind of what you would do normally. So you would just cut a piece. Now, my foundation has wire in it, so it's hard to cut a big piece, but you would cut a piece like this so that it's solid. Look at that, oh my God, so delicious. So you would cut a piece like this, and then you would, come on, look with me, pop it out. Mm, it does not wanna come, okay. So you see, you could pop it out, and then you would take rubber bands and you would strap it into this frame. And I can't do that one-handed, so I'm not gonna show you, but I'll show you the finished product. So as you can see, I have made an enormous mess in the cabin bathroom, but uh, I think it's gonna be worth it. The bees are gonna be super excited. Look at all this honey that the bees are gonna get for lunch today. They are going to love it. And then on the frame that I had that was not plastic, that was just foundation, I cut it into chunks. And I'm going to take this down to my friends at the High Market here in High, Texas. They've been working really hard during the shutdown and I think they deserve something sweet. So I am going to go and put this into the beehives. And if I can film this one handed and show you how that's done, then I will. So what I've done now is I can't really clean these frames anymore because I mean the honey is just these little minuscule bits. Um, but I can't use the frames either so I may as well put them out and let the bees find them and clean the honey out because they'll come and they'll take every bit of this and clean it. And look this little girl's already found the frame. So I put them really really far away from the hives. This is about as far as you can get on our property. You can see the hives 
are way over there. I don't know if you can even see them in this picture. The little white dot right there in the middle. So what the bees will do is they'll come over here, they'll find this honey, they'll go back to the hives and they'll say, hey guys, I found some honey. And then the bees will all be over here in about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So they'll clean this up for me. The armadillos and the deer will eat the wax out of it. And then I can store them in case we ever need them again. And so just to clarify, the reason that you want to put the frame so far away from the hive is that if you put it too close to the hive, then it can um, attract other bees from other hives, or it can even attract bees from my other hives, and they could go in and start robbing some of my other hives. And you don't want that because it gets this whole frenzy and bees are going in and out and stealing other bees' honey. So you want to put the frames far away so that it doesn't encourage other bees to come over to your hives and steal the honey that your bees have been making, which is why they're way over there and my hives are way over there. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways you can feed your bees. Um, I usually have a top feeder, which I fill with sugar water, but I was one short. So in this one, you can see I've just put a box on top of the hive. It's just an empty box with no frames in it. And last week, I filled these jars with sugar and then I put them into the hive. They have little tiny holes on the bottom and the bees can just lick the sugar off of that and then use it to make honey. So this time I'm just going to replace those jars with this honey in the honeycomb. I'm just gonna drop it in there and then I'm gonna put the lid back on. And that's it, that's all I'm doing and the bees are gonna love it. Being very active at the front today, these guys are going crazy. I think they found the frames that I put out. And that's it, I'm gonna go through and do the others next. So I popped the entrance reducer off of this one because how oh, these guys are going nuts today and it makes it a little easier for them to come in and out. And if you'll see, some of them are coming in with pollen pants on, which are little colored balls on their back legs. And it's just, um, they pull pollen off of the flowers and, and they bring it home to put into the hive. 